Listen, Jesus is your friend and he has your back. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the fact that you can count on God for anything. You have to know that God has your best interests at heart with no matter what goes on in your life, child of God, right? If things are going in your life, they're going haywire or you don't understand why this is happening and do God really love me and why are you allowing me to suffer and go through this, Lord, and do you really love me? Yes, he loves you. No matter what happens in your life, God wants you to win. Sometimes he allows painful situations in our lives to happen because maybe there's a lesson that he wants to teach us. Maybe we have to go through this so that we can get to know him better. Like you just never know why God is allowing things to happen in your life, child of God. And I feel that I'm speaking to somebody, but because we feel like we have to know everything, we don't accept the fact that God is truly still being good to us when we're going through hard times, right? But you have to know again, child of God, that God will never leave you. He'll never, like he truly wants what's best for you. He's truly rooting for you. Like he wants what's best for you. You know how we can have um, friends or we can have family members in our lives and you know they could say oh I want you to win and I want what's best for you and you know I'm cheering you on but secretly a lot of times they could be jealous or something like it's like God does not have that jealous bone or any like he truly wants everything in your life he truly wants what's best for you so sometimes if he has to allow you to go through some painful situations some things that's not uh, uh, comfortable for you He's still being a good friend because, see, we only see what we're going through now. But when we look at the outcome, like when you see that thing, the Bible said better is the ending of a thing than the beginning thereof. But why is that? It's because when you go through that thing that God is allowing you to go through or he's making you to go through it, when you come out, you're going to be so much stronger in the Lord. And you're going to look back and say, God, I thank you for allowing me to go through that hard time. Because if I had not went through that, Lord, I wouldn't know you like this. Am I speaking to somebody today? See, Jesus is a friend, you guys. He is a best friend. He got your best interest. At it's like you on a basketball team and you know, you, 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 you got Jesus playing with you. He playing with you. You know, y'all trying to make this goal. Y'all trying to make this goal. So anytime you get a little tired, like you could pass him the ball, you know, he'll, he'll dunk it for you. Like, I'll, I'll take care of this one. Like, but he got your back. He blocking you. He's protecting you from the other players. Like, he's just looking out for you the whole time. Sometimes you don't even see that he's blocking things that's happening in your life. He's still blocking the attacks from the enemy. <laughs> And you don't even see it. He's still being a friend, even when the enemy's attacking you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Right? So him and you are on a winning team. Y'all on a team. And who plays in a basketball game? You got an opponent. There's somebody that's trying to win, so you won't win. Right? And that's the devil. But you got God playing ball with you. Pass me the ball. I'll take care of this shot for you. You want to take this one here? I'm going to hand you the ball. Take that shot right there. I'm just saying, right? But the other opponents, the other teams want you to lose. That's the enemy. He wants you to lose, but God wants you to win. He's on your team. Oh, yes, he is on your team. See, he's a friend that sticks closer than a brother, right? Yeah, this brother's close, but I'm a friend. I'm closer than that brother, right? Think of a mouse trap, right? You got a mouse on the trap. He's stuck to the trap. He's not coming off that trap. The mouse is stuck to that trap, the sticky traps, <laughs> or the other ones. You stuck. You're not coming off. He sticks closer than a brother, meaning I'm sticking here. Nobody's going to remove me from here because I'm stuck. Oh, yeah, the brother's close, but I'm closer. I'm sticking closer, right? I'm sticking closer. He say, I no longer call you slaves because the master's not going to reveal to the slave. I'm not going to confide in the slaves, but now I call you friend. I call you friend because I've revealed to you what my father has revealed to me. Right? Now that I'm your friend, now I'm going to give you revelation. Now I'm going to show you who's against you. I'm going to show you how much I love you. I'm going to show you your purpose because now you are my friend. You're my friend now. Everybody doesn't get revelation. Everybody doesn't get to know what my father tells me. I don't tell everybody that, but because you are my
my friend. Roba shandi alalabosata. It's because God was your friend, child of God, that you're still alive today. It's because he was your friend. A best friend. Best friend. Not a sometimes friend, but a best friend. When all your friends leave you, he's still there being a friend. He got a listening ear. He's hearing. He's walking with you through everything that you go through. See, friends will leave you. But because God is a friend, not just a friend, but a best friend, a best friend, child of God. I don't know what's going on in your life. I don't care what's going on in your life. It doesn't matter what's going on in your life. It doesn't matter who you're going through it with. It doesn't matter how long you've been going through it. Know that God is a friend. Know that God is with you in this. Know that God is rooting for you. He wants what's best for you. Sometimes he got to allow you to suffer through some stuff. But again, like I said, when you come out, you're going to be thankful and grateful to the Lord for the experience. It's good to have a friend in Jesus. It's good to have a friend in Jesus. Y'all see what I'm saying? It's like, it's no jealousy. It's no hatred. It's no manipulate. Like he just truly wants what's best for you in every area of your life. Everything he always looking out for you. It's like, that gives me assurance and comfort to know that because I got God looking out for me, that the enemy is not going to do but so much, right? If he wasn't a friend, he would let the enemy destroy you. He would have let the enemy take your life, make you lose your mind a long time ago. But somehow, because he's your friend, you're still in your right mind. Because he's your friend, you're still alive. I'm just saying, that thing didn't kill you. That should have took you out of here. But it's because he's your friend. I'm just saying. What a friend we have in Jesus. What a friend we have in Jesus. Don't worry about what your life look like, right? Know that he's your friend, child of God. Know that he loves you. Know that he got your best interests at heart, right? If you ain't got no other friends, you feel like everybody left you. You talk to your friend. A friend in Jesus is what you have. Don't give up on him, y'all. Don't give up on him. Don't give up on him. I don't care what's going on in your life. Like, I've been through the worst, the worst, the worst, the worst of stuff. Like, but it was only him that was there, you know? It was him that was there. And I believe he allows us to go through things like that just to know that he's the one that's going to be there till the end when everybody goes. I'm just saying, are y'all hearing? Man, ah. This thing is on my heart, y'all. Somebody needs reassurance that the Lord truly still loves you, that he still wants what's best for you, you know, that he got your best interests at heart, that he got your back, that you can count on him, know that he's in control of that situation. He's not going to let that thing take you out of here. You know, everything he allows in our lives, you guys, is for a purpose. But the purpose is always going to benefit you somehow in the end. Right? You see what I'm saying? The Bible said that all things work together for good to them that love God. And you love him, child of God. You love him. And then it works according to his purpose. Right? Meaning whatever you're going through, God is going to work that thing together. And somehow, the bad situation, the good situation, he's going to work it together. It's going to work out for your good. And it's going to accomplish his purpose. And his purpose is... Is for the enemy to be put to shame. That very thing that the enemy thought he was going to take you out of here with. God is going to use that according to his purpose so that his name is glorified. The devil loses that battle that he tried to take your life. And God's name is glorified because you got through it. I'm just saying. All things, child of God. Look at the end result. They are going to work together for your good. Right? And the devil's going to be shamed in the name of the Lord is going to be glorified. Right? I just felt this strong in my heart that somebody needed to hear that. Like this somebody needed some encouragement or maybe you was going through a hard time and you wonder where God is. But I want you to know that he is a friend, a best friend. And he sticks closer than a brother. So don't give up on him because he never gave up on you.